guys I want to pop in real quickly and when I say quickly I mean quickly for real because I am seriously on my way out the door anyway a lot of you guys have been asking but Shug what are you gonna do as far as May and the challenges and my cat is acting cr hey hey anyway so you guys have been asking Shug what are you gonna do as far as a May challenge we were all up on that squat challenge with you and we want to do something new so I am back with a new challenge. Actually, it's two challenges! And they all start with the letter P. And get your mind out the gutter. So for me, I am going to do the plank and the push-up challenge. Yes, we are gonna do two challenges for this month. Now, if you wanna continue on doing your squats, by all means, do that. I do have an update video coming really, really soon. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, you have seen like a bit of a preview of the results. So I'm telling you that squats do work. Now for the month of April, I'm gonna continue on with my regular exercise routine. I'm gonna continue on with my squats. I'm probably not gonna follow the same schedule of the squat challenge, but I do squats anyway. So if you want to do all three of these, by all means, do that. So let me tell you real quickly what this whole challenge thing is about as I consult my cellular machine here. Okay, so for the push-ups, so like day one, you're gonna do 20, day two, you're gonna do 25, then 30, then 35, then 40, and then you're going to rest. I'm going to leave a photograph right here if you can read it on the screen. If not, I'm gonna also place that photograph down below in the description bar so that you can check it out. But if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen the photograph already. Now, when it comes down to push-ups, I know for me that's not my particular strong suit. So in the beginning, you may have to start off by doing your push-ups on your knees, or you can use one of those big old exercise medicine ball type situations where you can do your push-ups on there, or you can do them on the wall. For me, my goal before the end of the year will be to be able to do a push-up while on a headstand. My friend John planted that seed in my head and I was like oh my god so now I'm like totally obsessed with trying to figure out how to do a push-up on a headstand honey because I'm about to be fancy all like that. So you can google how to do different types of push-ups. You can do like a wide push-up or like a narrow push-up because we all want to have like sexy arms and like sexy back and all of that stuff. Now also with this challenge, we are going to be doing planks. You like, but Shug, I don't think I can do a plank for real. Yes, you can. Planks are so awesome. It helps to build up your core. And I'm telling you, I have kind of grown to like planks. You like, but Shug, I don't think I can do it. I'm like, yes, you can. You can do it, girl, a guy, whoever it is that's watching this here video. So the planking schedule is as follows let me see here now planks you do planks every single day okay there's no break in with the planks and it's a good thing it's not going to kill you so you can make this thing work you hear my cat she's making so much noise out there okay anyway so for the first day of planks you're going to plank for one minute yes you can plank for one minute and i'm going to show you how in just a second then the following day is a minute and 30 minute and 30, minute and 45. So by the time we get to the end of the month, we're going to be planking for four minutes. Yes, four minutes. And there are different types of planks that you can do. You can do them on your hands where you're like this. You can do them on your forearms. You can use one hand, you can do them on the side. There's so many awesome things you can do with planks. And I'm telling you, it helps build your core. It helps give you nice little abs and stuff like that. So, because I plank a lot, I'm going to give you all some tips on planking and I'm gonna do my planking tips while in a plank because I'm fancy like that. All right guys, I know this is like an odd position that I'm in, but I'm gonna show you all and give you all some tips on how to plank without giving up. All right, so I have my timer set for one minute. So, let's go. Okay. Ooh. So we're going to plank, sorry about all of this. Now the first thing I will say is take your phone and instead of looking at the time like this, you're going to take your phone and you're going to place it down like so, so you can't see it. I find that when I am looking at the time, 
I'm more likely to sit up there and complain like, oh my God, I got like 40 seconds left and I'm not sure if I can do it. Also, it helps if you count backwards. So let's see, we started at a minute, we're doing like 50, 49, um, 48, 47, 46, things like that. It may also be helpful for you if you read. So bring along your favorite book and get your reading on so that you're not bored and stuff like that. All right, so I'm looking and I'm cheating a bit. But yeah, singing also helps in your head. If you're at the gym and you're singing, it may tell you like to be quiet and stuff like that. And see, a minute down already and I gotta go. All right guys, bye. Oh, you guys probably wanna see like a before picture. So let me show you what I have. Oh, that was too close. Let me show you all what I have going on over here. And let me just say this. I have like a bit of a disclaimer. Okay. I've had kids. All right. And I have some stretch marks. Okay. I'm all right with them most of the time, like 98% of the time. And my husband loves me. Like, girl, ain't nobody checking for them. And let me tell you something too, ladies. Dudes are not checking for your stretch marks. Let me just say that. Because you know what? Sometimes we as women get so caught up on, oh my God, this is this is that and this is what's happening right here. Child, that man ain't checking for your stretch marks. And if he is checking for your stretch marks, then maybe he shouldn't be your man or whatever. And the same thing too, guys. If you got stretch marks, because trust and believe, men have stretch marks too, okay? So if that woman is like, boo, I don't like your stretch marks, then maybe that shouldn't be your boo anymore, okay? And that's it. And that's all. So let me show you all what I have going on like my before so that we can track the progress. And one of the kids coming home and he's in the street. He don't even see me, but he about to jump over the puddle. You know what? Okay. So yes, guys, that's it for the month of May's challenge. We get started on Tuesday. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? I don't know. Whatever day the first lands on. You know what? Maybe... Is my math wrong? Hold on. No, we can start on Wednesday. That's the first day of the whole May challenge. Hang in there, guys. You can do it. I'll be updating my Instagram and Twitter and Tumblr so that you guys can see the progress and to also provide encouragement for you all. Also, I will have an update on <laughs> my squats, honey, because I'm telling you, child, listen, I don't think y'all understand. All of this is on and pop it. So, all right, guys, I'm about to go because I got to run out. So, I will see you all online in the comment section or on Instagram, Twitter, and all of that stuff. Hang in there and let's get it so we can be nice and sexy and stuff for the summer. Or just be nice and sexy for you, right? All right, guys, I'm rambling. Bye!